Man, you come straight out of a cup. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Straight Out of a Comic Book. I am your host, Will Farrow. Today, we got Young Deuces and Brandon Brody in the building because I needed two experts to talk about the continuation of D23. Uh, it wasn't just Marvel. You know, I didn't want to just feel like, you know, people was like, we just on the Marvel stuff. Star Wars came, put their lightsaber on the table too. All right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Right through the table. Melted it's right they through did, it. man. They came with the heat. So much to the point to where I was like, yo, Luke, Lucas Entertainment was coming out to play. I, you can't even really call it Star Wars on this one. Lucas Entertainment came out swinging with not only Star Wars, but also some other legendary titles that this man has created. And we're going to kind of jump in that today, too, man. But uh, like I said, we definitely want to start with the Star Wars action of a lot of things are coming back that we saw a lot of updates on uh, some of the stuff that we knew were coming. Uh, one of the biggest things was uh, Andor. Yeah. Andor uh, got another trailer and it's going to be streaming uh, September 21st mm -hmm. on Disney plus. Um, haven't said how many episodes that they're going to be, um, but it, they also have for done production uh, began production on season two. So I just want to know from two Big Star Wars fans, especially coming from um, the um, the Rebellion movie before the um, set of the next set of Star Wars. How do y'all feel about this Andor character and what he's going to bring to the table? Um, I, I'll go. I'll go right in. Uh, first of all, I, you know, I wasn't initially. I wasn't that excited about Andor. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't make or break uh, Rogue One for me. Um, I honestly think that he. I mean, he was a good. I think. I think I'm glad that he. You know, everyone perished at the end of that movie because I, I didn't need to know any more about Ando. I didn't want any retcon shit where they just created a guy that is now in the Star Wars lore where they yeah. just placed him in there just because. So I'm glad that he died and we understand why we never heard about him in A New Hope. But, you know, for that, for him being a hero of the past, that's cool. So I, I like it's OK, uh, I guess reverse retconning, you know, like prequel in it for me. I don't, but I don't 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 put characters in to then act like they've always been in. <laughs> future films and everything. You yeah. Know? Um, so I, I wasn't that excited, but then when I found out it was more of a prequel type of thing, it was kind of a precursor because I was like, it, it, it did. I mean, obviously he died, so I didn't understand what we were going to be discussing. Um, but it, it, it looks interesting. The way Rogue One and Solo show just the different side of Star Wars is pretty yeah. cool. I hate, I, I, Solo's, you know, one of my least favorite Star Wars films, but I do like that it's like, you're really getting an understanding that the Jedi and you know the Force and all that isn't the center of the universe. That make right. like we because we've always identified Star Wars as that. But when you see that there's these working class that almost see Jedi as like like mythical creatures, like yeah, right, a Jedi. I like I like seeing that side. So even like um, I, I look forward to Andor that kind of just showing that these these niggas they say. May the force be with you, almost like you know, like it's it's of a spirit. Like we just may the force be with you, you know. Not actually that there's niggas that can harness the force, right? Yeah. Right. And like so, if it's it's actually going to be twelve episodes, will okay? Uh, that up. Yep. So it's twelve episodes, and be, the fact, like you said, that this is that prequel five years before Rogue One. Like for me, like who got into Star Wars later on, like I, I always said that, like. Man, it seems like if this is the galaxy, why are they only focusing on like this core group of individuals? So when they like right now, for me, I'm excited to see the expansion of the universe as far as like these different main characters. And so like on the opposite side of how Brody feels about it, it was like, yeah, I was like, all right, I'm not I don't know much about Andor or in general like with that. So I was like. I'm interested in at least learning more about, like I said, more of the universe. That's why like, I I gravitate towards a lot of these additional shows heavily because I'm like, yo, this is pretty dope that now, like, this is the galaxy. They talk about galaxies upon galaxies. And I'm like, right. when are we talking about these other galaxies and these other people? Like, there's more than just the, the Skywalkers and, and Vader and everything. So it's like, but, you know, trying to get more into that, you know, the Rebel Alliance and everything, like, I'm just excited to see how this goes and everything so 
Yeah, I kind of feel like the both of y'all too. Um, I think with like this series and even um, two other shows that did a really good job on that is uh, The Mandalorian and oh, yeah. uh, The Book of Boba Fett. As y'all mm-hmm. said, it really started to help spread out what this was. Because, uh, you know, just even for someone like myself, I um, I missed out on the cartoon version. So like, you know, the Clone Wars, all of those things yeah. that really gave a lot of you all that expansion of what Star Wars could be. And so, yeah. so I kind of missed out on a lot of that stuff. But just to see these, um, even just like from these three uh, shows that we got uh, that's going to be coming, Mandalorian showed you the different type of like religion or the different type of group that was out here outside of just the Jedi, like you said, and like the Siths and stuff. And it's just like, oh, that's someone else who follows a, a code that's really dope that you want to see more of. But then also, too, for like Boba Fett, it expanded that world of like these planets. And it's just like, wow, you never thought about the underbelly of yeah. Star Wars. Like you never thought about people hustling and you know import <laughs> export and like you know like job of the hunt like really be right. like yo job of the hunt really that dude that dude the kingpin like for real yeah and then like yeah. him being gone and like that that gap that was really left there so it's like it starts to really fill in that that story you know because you know like, y'all I, I i talk my shit to just out of the fun of it but it starts to really fill in more of like how you said that that tagline that they have in a galaxy far far away we're starting to see more of that galaxy and, I, and i'm yeah. and i'm definitely enjoying it so um another thing that they did drop and announce was the tales of the jedi um yeah and I said, like, you know, I missed out on those things. So I know uh, y'all may be a little bit more familiar with the uh, animated versions, but they're coming out with the six original shorts, uh, I believe, in October. And so it's going to be an uh, actual anthology. It's going to be like an animated mm-hmm. anthology um, close to something that I believe they say is going to be following a young Qui-Gon Jinn and uh, Master Count Dooku. And it's also going to include um, a young uh, uh, Ahsoka and uh, her Jedi training during the Clone yeah. Wars. So- Which I'm excited. I'm really excited for that. Like Ahsoka was one of those characters that when she came on the screen, like she ran away like with like like as far as popularity so then when when she, when they showed the live action version of her in like uh in mando it was like yo and then when we learned that she get into live action like for me i just want to get more of her character so now yeah. we're going to get into her birth her origins and everything like that and i'm like i'm excited for that that's the one that really sold it for me on that one yeah i'm, ho- I'm hoping it gives us like different designs too kind of like how they did um I always, I know I get it wrong, but it was a recent anthology that you had mentioned, uh, Brody, in our anime episode, uh, that Star Wars anthology of animes that they made, you know, yeah. like how, they had, how they had the different styles and stuff like that. So I hope it tells of the Jedi be something like that, where each of these may have like a different type of like, animation style. Yeah. And, you know, I, I mean, I, and that's what I did really ap- appreciate about about um, that that animated series that it gave, you know, different directors a chance. That's kind of similar to the Mandalorian. And I think that's really cool for star Wars to be given different directors. So then they kind of like almost sift and see who they want to continue directing more. You know, they saw that your boy, uh, John Favreau, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and with uh, Filoni, you know, the way they handled the Mandalorian, like yeah. well, the, the way they handled us, uh, I, I can't remember what they handled prior to that, that was star Wars related, but I think it was a short or something. And or the Filoni, I can't remember how he got on, but the way they handled it, they just they they, they secured the Mandalorian for themselves, man, just through yeah. that. Um, oh yeah. And I, I I'm told, I'm, told, I'm not really you know I like the Ahsoka character, and, and this is exactly right. Uh, Ahsoka's one of those characters. We're like, wait, who's that? You know what I mean? She was yeah. like this. It's like it's like it's like the new girl in school. You're like, wait, who, yeah. who's that? You know, like, yeah. Yeah. like we we're wondering like, wait, why well, don't I know who that is? You know, but we right. understood, you know, and, and through. Through Clone Wars, that's where they, you know, first started to uh, implement the character, and then um, with Rebels, that's where I got introduced. Cause I watched a little bit of Clone Wars, but not enough to, mm-hmm. to where they started to focus on Ahsoka like that. But in Rebels, when they brought Ahsoka in, it was like, I, I mean, we've never seen a character that literally was like, I'm not a Jedi, I'm not a Sith, I'm just Force sensitive, I make my own decisions. So almost a mercenary user of the Force, you know? Yeah, it, like makes her own decisions. Yeah, the only, that's, yeah. The, o- the only thing that I was like, oh man, because they do they're gonna do a Mace Windu episode too, but it's not voiced by Samuel L. Jackson. And I was like, Ugh. yeah, <laughs> I yeah. 
Oh, so course, okay. well, I, I'm assuming because it's a young version of Mace Windu that they're going to just getting a different character to do a, a young. But let's movie. be clear: there's never been a young version of Samuel Jackson. Very much Samuel so. Jackson has been the same age <laughs> his whole life, so that makes no yes. sense. To me. Him, him, and Morgan. He's always, he's always he's always been 54 been. years old. Yes, yes, I I agree. And then also, too, 55. Samuel Jackson still gonna be 54 years old. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 93 on the death bed, just oh my god, it's still Sam Jackson. 55 How's young Sam years. Jackson doing? He's well, he's 54. He just celebrated his 54th yesterday. Be like, oh man, that man don't never change, don't never change. Yeah. But no, even uh, but even just how like uh, you said, <laughs> Brody, with that, Liam Neeson is returning to voice Qui Gon Jinn, so that's why it's even too like, well, if he's returning, then why can't Samuel Jackson return? I well, you know what? Be, Maybe Samuel Jackson takes on every role that gets put on his plate. So I feel like he's yeah. probably just busy. <laughs> he's probably he's probably doing Secret Invasion or something. You know what I mean? He's, yeah, yeah, he's just busy. He's just yeah, busy. I can definitely, know, I, I can definitely see that. Because he recently, because so I don't know if we if we really talked about it or anything like that. But in uh, was it Boba Fett? Man, which which one showed? Oh my God! Now I'm blending them together. The one where they show, they they showed uh. They, and people theorized that that was um, that that was Mace Windu on that ship. I think it was was it Boba Fett? Oh, Day? when it was the the Jedi's in the chambers. I think it was Boba Fett. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So they and they theorized, that, and then around that time, Samuel L. Jackson he was talking about like he picks roles that he likes to play, right? And he was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying. And he so in past roles, he was like, yeah, I had fun playing them. I had fun playing them. But then when he said, and I I enjoy playing Mace Windu, so people was like. Wait, are we about to get something Mace Windu with it? So when I started hearing, I was like, wait, okay, is this, we're getting Samuel L. Jackson back? And then when I saw I was like, he's not. But I was like, but why would he say I enjoy playing him? Because he hasn't played them in forever. So I was like, but I, because I, I want more Mace Windu. Because like, yeah, and we, I think know that, the, we know the reason behind his purple lightsaber, but they never gave it a origin in the, in the in the lore, we just know that Samuel Jackson said, "No, I want it. I want it purple, and it got to say bad motherfucker on the leg." Right. Like, we know that, but I yeah. want to see how they put it in the lore. <laughs> you know, I think that I mean, still the, the one thing they haven't tackled, which they have done some in a lot of the video games, is just talking about the old republic. So I think that yeah. I think that they might be saving that Samuel Jackson or, or something, you know, with the old republic. Um, now again, like I don't know if they're gonna if they de-age him or. Something like that to make him a younger, a younger Jedi. Oh, yeah. Or, 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 yeah. Like how they did, uh, exactly. how they did Miss Marvel. Like they, you know, they de-aged yeah. Miss Marvel and stuff like that. So by that mm -hmm. time too, when like how you just said, uh, Brody, if they waiting on the right time to do it, by the time they do like find that perfect time to do it, you know, like technology will be even better, especially like with Lucasfilm. So you know, yeah. you're yeah. gonna have all of the, the the CG down pat and ready to go. They, so, they're all underneath. They're all underneath Disney. Disney, because remember they de-aged Tony in what was that? Uh, Iron Man two, Iron Man three, Iron Man three. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, like, the even, simulation and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. even that, even though it was like it still kind of looked weird, it was still like yo, but that's kind of that's kind of eerily like good. So the fact yeah. that you got two, you got two powerhouses working on CGI de-aging technology. Yeah, they're they're good. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then just like how y'all said, uh, and how long it took for to have uh, Ahsoka uh, come out finally and get her mm -hmm. shine. Like, but it comes out at the perfect time because like now you have all of these series that you can put on Disney Plus with Star Wars to give everybody they shot and kind of clean up a lot of this like these decade spans between like these sagas and stuff like that. So they got a lot to go off of. Um, and then like another one that they have is called uh, the Skeleton Key that they have promoted. Skeleton Crew, excuse me. Skeleton, Skeleton Crew, Crew that they have premiered. Yeah. Uh, Jude Law is the star of this one. Not a lot given information given about it. It's yeah, kind of show funny. like clips and stuff. But it's supposed to come out in 2023. It stars Jude Law. It's kind of like a uh, lost in space, but it's during like the New Republic era. So it's just... Um, yeah. It's, in, it's you know, interesting. Here's what I've been telling people, like how, uh, the conversations I've been having with like just a lot of other Star Wars fans. I said, st I was like, Lucasfilms, as much as it's crazy to say, with all, all that they have with Star Wars, this is like phase two of Star Wars. So remember in mm. Marvel, when, when Marvel first came out, like you know, when they was doing like we was excited. We knew about Captain America, Thor, whatever like that. But when phase two hit, 
you started getting characters that you was like, what? They bringing that person to screen? Yo, they put it. And I, I feel like we was having those moments. Because like, like even going back to Ahsoka, I know we keep on talking about her, but when she popped up, I did not expect her to pop up in, in Mandalorian at all. And then after that, I'm like, all right, well, they, they gave us that. And then in each of these series, in Boba Fett, and Man, I'm like, wait, they're actually giving us Luke Skywalker in these? Like, I was like, it was like, it's that, it's that shock of, wait, they're bringing this person in? What, they giving us this person? And so it's yeah. like, it's that, it's, yeah. it's that hype of, of phase two. And so it's like, with Star Wars, with what they're doing, and like I said, even... Even when you announce the actors, like Jude, like you, like oh shit, Jude Law is in this bitch. Like you know what I'm saying? Like well, we got him a part of the Star Wars universe. It's like it's dope to see how that goes, and that's that's where a lot of the excitement is lying for me. Yeah, and I was gonna say, I, I really think I like that they're keeping it canonized. You know, like they're they're yeah. really you know to the to the it makes the it makes the animated series like that much. It gives it that much weight. You know, I felt crazy watching Rebels. You know, I like just initially but then like by the end of that season three bro i was like man i mean there's certain episodes i'm not even gonna lie bro my eyes were watering up bro like rebels is good rebels yeah is i've really heard that but yeah good. i remember good things about it yeah. i couldn't believe it man and you know and then and they got and and just with that being said like what the deuce is saying i'm excited now they're bringing ezra bridger to the uh to andor so we're yeah. gonna see a live action ezra bridger with the, looks like you know he's gonna be his older ezra so he's obviously a Jedi by this point, probably trained. I don't know if he's if he's training anybody else, but that would be super interesting to see what happens because you know, obviously there, there's a reason why he's not in the, the following episode. So you know, it looks like maybe yeah. we'll find maybe there's some kind of closure to Ezra's story in Andor. Yeah, true, true. But uh, but how do y'all feel? Though I need to, I, I wanted to know like with with this and like for instance the skeleton crew. This seems kind of like these are new characters. This isn't somebody that is actually from the Lord just yet. They haven't really announced who he's playing. So how do y'all feel about that now being able to care? Like with these new storylines coming out or is Star Wars there enough to start carrying with new characters that folks don't know about inside the world of Star Wars? I think I feel like, I was going to say, I feel yes and no. I feel like this is going to be the test. So just like how, again, it's, 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 it's so easy to, to compared to Marvel, but just so, just as how Marvel, when they introduced Guardians of the Galaxy, and it was like, okay, like, all right, we kind of know what's going on here, but we don't know too much about them, and then the, how they blew up and popped. I feel like this is going to be that. This is their test, like, okay, if this is successful, then we can really start opening up our wings and really start expanding this universe and you know we can introduce new characters we can introduce different planets that we may have just brushed past and it's like oh yeah y'all seen that planet we never really gave the lore to it you know because like even the thing uh uh and it kind of jumping forward but even in mandalorian what they gave us it seems like we're going to see mandal like we're going to see the home planet the destruction the aftermath like yeah. we're going to see all yeah. that so it's like i feel like that's that's what they're doing they're trying to figure out how much can they go? Do they have to still have some type of tie-in a little bit, or can they give us completely new characters, new... And I feel like this is the moment that they're trying to... This is going to be the test. Well, that's exactly what I was going to say. I, I think that you got to have... You got to have some kind of tether to some kind of core characters, or else, like, I mean, mm -hmm. I just can't... I simply can't care about them. I mean, even when the, when the Bad Batch came out, like, it's like, yeah. I, all right, I don't, I don't care so much about the clones. Yeah. You know, and now you're making a spinoff about just some of the clones, you know, like a it's a spinoff <laughs> of a spinoff. I'm kind of like, eh, I, I just couldn't get excited about it, you know, and it's like, yeah. I mean, you got to like, I guess they had, um, like, I'm trying to think who else was on, on Bad Batch, but I, I, I didn't, I just, it just, I couldn't get into it. So I don't, I have no idea what the skeleton crew, what, what they're going to explore. Um, but I mean, I know there are some areas where. I could be excited for this show. The way the Mandalorian really swept us and got everybody is because they introduced the idea of Baby Yoda, and uh, and that and we. I mean, people have had all types of questions. Yoda's always been in kind of mystery. You know, his lore has been in mystery. Now that we're seeing a young uh, the, the child that with Grogu and everything, like it's it's like I would be interested in them, like in the skeleton crew tapping on something in the universe. Like I don't know if it's finding a kyber crystal somewhere or something or finding uh, some kind of sith temple yeah. you know something that they're yeah. not supposed to find like something really like almost that like we kind of see here and there you don't really get to really explore it um yeah. but it's 
deeply, but it's so deeply woven into the lore that it becomes this pivotal thing that oh shit, these random travelers found. That's the only way it makes sense for me. You know, something somebody that stumbles upon something they shouldn't have. That would yeah. actually be fire. Now, now I want that. Now I want them to find the crystals. I want them to find this like this untapped area. Like, whoa, wait, what is this? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I love. I would love. Yeah, I would love something like that. I think that would be yeah, like how y'all said that would be dope to have them. Even if be- they found- a, a Grogu was, planet, a, the, the Yoda's planet. Can you imagine that? Like that's what the skeleton crew taps upon. Ooh, yeah, that would. Because 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 the baby Yoda or Grogu or whatever you want to call, it, they still didn't like all the questions that we have from since he first popped in. We still didn't get those questions answered. <laughs> that nigga's fifty. He's fifty three years old now. Yeah, <laughs> it's been about three years since Mandalorian first dropped. He's he's fifty on the Mandalorian. And he's like he's right. now. He's Samuel Jackson. He's fifty-four years old. I was like, "Get what you said." I was like, "Him and Sam Jackson went to school together." Yeah, these these are the class boys together. Most likely, that motherfucker that never took off his helmet. Yeah, he still got yeah. shit. Like, yeah, you know they got him as the Mandalorian in that right. little Star Wars joint. <laughs> in that little Star Wars joint. Yeah, the Star Wars. You got to shoot that little movie down. Huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, so, but uh, even that was also too though a good segue because I think you are right, Brody. Uh, being introduced to people that are not canon in the story, but um, being paired with the right element inside the lore i think like you said that's the best combination that they can go to to introduce us uh to these things because even as you had just brought up you know like how the bad batch didn't really grab you that was another thing that was announced that uh season two was going to be released uh the beginning of 2023 i got the perfect analogy i I give it i give it's the dr dre effect okay like dr dre brought out eminem eminem brought out 50 cent 50 cent brought out g unit and within the g unit it was like there's Tony Yeo. You know what I'm saying? Don't do Lloyd <laughs> Banks like that. Don't do Lloyd Banks. Bad Batch, like Lloyd Banks, and a, and a young uh, young Buck. Young were, Buck. Were Don't the, you do them cats like that? They, 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 were, the, they were the Bad Batch. You know what I'm saying? If I, if, <laughs> I, mean, I think it. I think it, it. It's perfect. Like it, I couldn't have said it better myself, bro. They're literally the bad, <laughs> the bad Batch. You know, they tried. They, they're like, all right, cool. We did the original series. Now we did. The prequel series, you know, we did Attack of the Clones. All right, let's throw in this new spinoff, which is yeah. the, the the Fifty Cent of called Clone Wars. You know, that's Fifty. They said, all right, how about this? Let's do another one. Let's double down with G Unit, <laughs> Bad Batch. And everyone's like, uh, all right, well, uh, all right, you know, we we, Yo, we good. I'm so upset how perfect this analogy is, right? Because <laughs> it's so if they spin anything off from the Bad Batch, that's gonna be the game. That's the game. <laughs> That's the game. Like, yo, I'm so upset that this this works so perfectly. And then what's going to be funny is whatever they spin off of the Bad Batch, if it follows the game trajectory, it's going to be the most successful out of the spin off from that. Because outside of fifty, game is the most successful G Unit member, even though Lloyd That's Banks true. is a better one. So it's like whatever spin off is going to be, it's going to be the Rogue something of Bad Batch. It's going to be the Finn story. They're gonna they're gonna retcon Finn. And then <laughs> and hit, and hit, Finn is going to be game. Because, <laughs> you know, because because think about it. Game, no, no, here's, gonna, here's why it makes perfect sense. Here's how it makes perfect sense. Because the game, even though he's G-Unit history, he still got, and my, he's, he's, he's beefing with G-Unit because of how they did him. Yeah. Then is beefing with Star Wars because of how they did Because of how they did him. <laughs> and if they retcon and they give him like, like he's like, all right, I'm going to shine, but hey, I still got a problem with y'all, but I'm going I'm to do my thing right now. Like, <laughs> yo, if 50 Cent ever hit this shit, he's going to go watch Star Wars. All of the Star <laughs> yeah. Wars just to get this reference. And, st- and Star Wars be Star Wars be so, uh, so messy. You know, you're going to see if, if they do a Finn retcon thing, someone's going to be like, Finn, Glad to see him. And he's going to look at the screen like, it's good to be back. <laughs> and then just look back. Right. And it's like, it's going to be, but uh, I feel like though, right, when you are in this space where you're creating a universe and you're doing more with the whole universe, um, it gives you that opportunity to, to either retcon 
or like I said, give more properties to it. Like I said, we knew about the Mandalorian. So then when Mandalorian came out, we didn't really know that we wanted more about this whole lore, but then they gave it to us. Yeah. And we were like, yo, this is fire. Learning the law, learning how they move, learning their rules, learning what, you know, this Mandalorian actually is going against the whole Kree and everything. Like now what everything, how he's moving is different. And so yeah. it's like to see that journey. But also do it, like you said, to equip it with a, a Grogu, you know, to, to equip it with, wait a minute, who's this mystery? Like, why, like, wait, is that Yoda? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, and, you know, they kind of did, and, and the way they did it in a, in a perfect way for the Mandalorian is like, they're like, all right, this is how we're going to tether it. This guy looks like Boba Fett. As far as viewers know, Boba Fett is the only, quote unquote, Mandalorian in the, in the universe. Yeah. You know, I put heavy quotes because it's still debatable yeah. whether Boba Fett's a Mandalorian, whether he's, you know, I mean. Yeah. Well, there's not, but that, yeah, but we, but once we saw the Mandalorian, we started being like, oh, this nigga's nothing like Boba Fett, right? But I like him, <laughs> but I really yeah. like him. But he's not, he's, yeah. it's like a different character, you know, yeah. But they, but they really, but they eased it in with the, you know, all right, they like, they like how mm -hmm. Boba Fett looks. Let's give him some Boba Fett things and a costume, you know, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And then we're going to show you, we're going to show you how he's different. And that's what they also did with the Boba Fett series, which I know some people are upset because they, they wanted Boba Fett to be a different way. But I, I actually appreciate seeing... Me too. I enjoyed the book of Boba Fett. I, I thought it yeah, was just I what did. it needed to be. I was like, yo, you know, It was a crime family story. He was... That's, and, that, and that's the thing, too. It's just like, how how y'all named the Godfather one of the best fucking films of all time? And that's basically yeah. what the book of Boba Fett was. Like, yeah. that's exactly what that shit was. It was the Godfather of Star Wars. And it was just mm -hmm. like, I don't understand like like what y'all wanted to see. And it was just like, yo, you got to remember, too, this dude been gone for like a while. Like B Boba Fett, like Jabba the Hutt is dead. Like all this yeah. stuff that he went through, like the people he can extract revenge on, most of them gone. So it's just like all you have is this territory for him to take yeah. over. So it's like, and it again, it showed so much more of what Star Wars can be. And it also elevated a lot of characters that you didn't know needed that extra boost in the stories, but they did because it made Han Solo more valuable to show like why he's a runner and why he's an outlaw. Same thing with Chewbacca, same with the same yeah. thing of all of these cats that he battles as to work. Cause you know, like it's still like space cowboys and it's like Star yeah. Wars never really focused so much on the space cowboy aspect, they were more heavy into the, you know, the religious view of like, you know, the force, yeah. the Sith and stuff. And so like seeing this with Boba Fett, it just boosted that up. And I'm just like, I don't get why people didn't like it. Well, here's where I think like, if the way that they did, like the way that they've done everything so far, this is actually like a good blueprint for any franchise who has decades worth of content, right? Because Star Wars has decades worth of material and everything that they create now, whoever's writing it and directing it, you have the task of not only creating this story, but making it make sense within this universe that has such dedicated fan base who picks everything apart. Right. And so I think that it's challenge like it's even though it's a spinoff of Star Wars and everybody's like you can't they're reusing properties where I give tip my hat off to like the writers and everybody is that like yes you are bringing in easter eggs little tidbits you are you are creating you are adding to this lore but you're not just saying oh yeah this is this person and now we're just doing the story no every episode and things that they're doing it's kind of like 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 uh, brody said it's interwebbing with something some point something you know because like even like even the small things like i love the like one of the reasons why i love mandalorian so much i was like bro they're bringing in stuff from that from that cheesy ass Christmas Star Wars episode that they did. Oh, yeah. Like they're, and they're, but they're making it canon. They're bringing in things that was created just for toys. Like I, like I said, I love the show, uh, the toys that made us. That stormtrooper driver thing, that 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 uh, that big old ship that that rides that ha holds like fifty stormtroopers. That was made just so, and when you have the action figures, you can store your toys. And I said, y'all yeah. brought that into reality. I was like. This is crazy that they're like that people are doing that. To me, that is amazing writing. That is a challenge to be able to do that and make it make sense. What's exciting about Book of Boba Fett too is the fact that like we we okay, we've you know for the this is for the naysayers. This is what I truly believe that they they'll continue if they do a season two Book of Boba Fett. Um, uh, I think that we'll have uh, you know obviously we've got to learn about Boba Fett who he is now. 
but it allows us to go back and just show all the other bounties that he's gone on and show yeah. him why he's such a badass because they 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 preface that with the flashbacks of when he was a kid you know mm -hmm. witnessing Django Fett and all that so mm -hmm. we know that this story is told and and you, it's, it's the Boba Fett now but I think we'll dip more into those flashbacks of like like we like all all the the the, the slaughtering he probably had to do that it was just for the yeah. bounty bro you know and yeah. him trying to I think because because this is truly it's a crime story but it's also a story of redemption yo yeah yeah like, no no I agree, really I agree looking for redemption yeah because like like how you said it and even too in the beginning of the book of Boba Fett you kind of see this dude who's angry like you see that kind of get taken away from him like that stuff mm -hmm. gets stripped of him being put in such a bad predicament to where it's yeah. like yo this man had to swallow his ego everything he knows about this and start from square one and having these people you know having the, uh, the tusk uh teach you all of this stuff mm -hmm. and for you to be able to like center that anger that pain everything you done went to was just like how you said brody where was he before all that happened? So, like, you get to see the part, like how you said, where it goes from the kid to where it's like, you know, not understanding and, and starting to figure out, like, yo, like, I'm a clone of this person. I'm a, or, or am I even the real person having that identity type of crisis? Getting into the kill of things and starting to feel like, you know, like that pride and that sense and really getting lost into being this bounty hunter and making these decisions that's just for the money. Yeah, I mean, said, I'd be excited just, just like, like, and it gives just, just as a flashback scene. They can go back to Empire Strikes Back when uh, Darth Vader, and you see all the different bounty hunters. You know, just that little scene of showing yeah. what did Boba Fett do during the time before he finally was able to catch up with everyone on Cloud City. Yeah. You know, I, I yep. like because I think they were on a Star Destroyer, and that's when Darth Vader was talking to all the bounty hunters and whatnot. Yeah. And then everyone goes their separate ways to go look for, uh, for look for the um, our, our our heroes. And just to see that as a flashback in the in a, in the book of Boba Fett would be like like things like that would be exciting to me. It would be crazy. So doing, you, you feel me? Because it's like yeah. maybe he went maybe he went to a planet and slaughtered everyone looking for him. And then when he finally found him on Cloud City, or what he did when he pulled up to Cloud City. Yeah. Yep. Well, because see, that's that's the main thing. But Boba Fett is like notoriously known around the galaxy. So like things like that would add like let's let they keep on letting us know why he is the badass. That everybody's like, yo, hey, that hey, he he one of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, create yeah, create yeah. create his legend. Like how you said, uh, like what what is it with Han Solo and like traveling at a parsec and stuff like that? Oh uh, yeah. Um... What is it? What is it? Uh, it was traveled uh, through some some stream in in, in like twelve part six, yeah. um, but it's like that's hit. That's one of his legacies that he's known for. It's like the yo, Kessel so, Run, Kessel yeah, Run, the Kessel Run, yeah, Kessel Run, yeah. 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 But it's like like I just said, this this show gives us a great opportunity for you to add those type of legacies to Boba Fett. So it's like how you mm -hmm. said, dudes, that this is the most known bounty hunter in the galaxy everybody gotta have a bar story like bro you remember that time Boba Fett with yeah. yeah. shot the motherfuckers up and just just <laughs> chunk them like you gotta yeah. have he, he gotta have one yeah. of them and, and that's that's what's funny about it though too because they've already sprinkled in those elements of like the bar stories because anytime you stop at a planet or anywhere and then at that bar scene with like the bounty hunters <laughs> and the underbelly they always talking about some shit like hey man yeah. let me tell you like <laughs> so i love like, to hear that niggas taking a shot like yeah hey, one time this nigga both he cut my arm off <laughs> nigga, man, that nigga lit my sh i had to get the fuck out of it i'm a joint <laughs> i can't even feel nothing you got right. This nigga lit my tentacles on fire with a fucking blowtorch, bro. On it. Right. <laughs> because you got to think about it, too. You think about it. You're like, no, this nigga came out of nowhere. He just like, he had a jetpack or something. He popped up out of nowhere. Hey, boy, he shut the hell up, man. What are you, that doesn't, what? He didn't, yeah, one man had all that. Yeah, one man had yeah, he, all that power. Yeah, I'm, te he, I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all, bro. Little <laughs> motherfucker had a helmet with a T on it. He just came out of the sky and had fire on his back. His shot out and started shooting my homeboys up. Then all of a sudden, hey, you ain't like y'all believe. Motherfucker shot a missile out of his backpack. <laughs> right. Missile came out. <laughs> hit my damn and car. he lifted his hand up. Then tiny missiles came out, shot me. Then, <laughs> then he hit grabbed me with a grappling hook. Blew up my hoverboard. Fucking droid is destroyed. Can't even fuck car nobody out. And then this nigga just did just, just some crazy shit like this. And then hey. threw his gun in and flew the fuck off. And this is how he did it. And, and, and the biggest part, the nigga ain't even force sensitive. 
like, they're like, how do you get that? How do you get that that, that mark on your? Well, 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 he punched me. He just knocked me out. It was, it was a solid strike. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I, I, I tried and just bowed, but then I knew that I was mad. Yeah, all that shit. He just put, he knocked me out. He didn't have to use nothing on me. I, 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 I went right to sleep. Wasn't no gadget. No nothing. <laughs> every, yeah, he just. It was a boba wow. fist. Yeah. And I got the closest <laughs> to him. So that's the moral of the story. <laughs> but yeah, man. So I'm ho- I'm hoping to see something about that. They didn't announce anything for Boba Fett at D23. Um, but we can get into the main big thing that, of course, you know, we, we've been kind of hitting it, which yeah. is the Mandalorian season three trailer was released. And uh um, yes. You are a Mandalorian no more. Yeah, and I also got a lot of theories because I feel like we're going to see because one of the biggest issues that I, I know that a lot of people had with the, uh, the the latest sequel is they was like, yo, this this new First Order came out of nowhere. And I feel like we're going to see them at least like you're going to because I think that they're taking like old husk of like, mm-hmm. you know, everything. And that's where they created this new fleet. And I think we're going to we're not going to see like the completion of it. But I believe that this is ser- this series is going to start giving us that. We're going to start seeing bits and pieces of how they created that new fleet. See, here, here's why. See, here's the thing. Here's why I don't, I don't be liking you Star Wars fans like this. Cause shit, y'all get mad about be the shit that makes <laughs> me. Like, oh, how did the first order come out? So what? They bought it. You do you really think the Republic blew everything up from one Death Star? No, there were planets building these ships. Somebody just sold this shit. At an auction, and we're like, you know what? We're called the first order. That's gonna happen. Let me get seventeen of these spacecrafts. Let me get that. Let me get that black uh, tie fighter over there because that shit yeah. look dope. I want to take pictures from my uh, my Starground. Matter of fact, and, that's what um, they gotta show. They gotta Star show. Show. They got. They gotta show the black market. They gotta show the nigga. Yeah, like, like, like that make is that, that make the most sense as to why they did that. Well, that's that's what, what I wish that they did with Canto Bite in uh in a uh, Last Jedi. Yeah. You know, like that's yeah. the underbelly. That's those are the arms dealers. Like they did. They, they yeah. really didn't lean into like that. That two niggas that are literally playing craps are 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 are, are funding a war between. Um, you know these two different sides, like the between the resistance and the first order. Like they, they could have, like, like, like they don't. I mean, it goes right. It's so easy because it goes right back into what the prequel trilogy was with the emperor literally setting up a war. You know, a waging war between separatists and um, the old public. You know, but this is this is what let me learn something. George Lucas ain't never watched the Wire. That's what this is. George Lucas <laughs> needs to start watching drug shit. All right, he need to watch Power. That's what it is. George mm-hmm. Lucas ain't tapped into his drug dealing shit. And that's the thing, because it's like, I still don't know what what is the equivalent of cocaine in Star Wars? Because oh, someone's spice. doing cocaine. It's spice. They call it spice. And that's that's what I was gonna say. Spice. That was another cool thing about Boba Fett is that they really showed how that's that spice trade is real, yo. Like them niggas. Yeah. And see, I wish they dive into that because like when I watched uh Dune, I was just like, yo, um. Uh, I don't know what y'all trying to tell us, but we need to look into spice while we here yeah. on Earth. Be like, oh, how many yeah. man? What, what spices y'all got? <laughs> we buy some. Yeah. Right. We got, I, I want to see a spice head. Like, I want to see everything. <laughs> see all spice. What's, what's the most expensive spice you got out here in these streets? That shit going that's where Disney right. gets a little soft, you know, because I don't think they're going to show a cracked out spice head on, on any Star Wars series. <laughs> you know, I'd love, I know. I'd love, I'd love, I'd love to see, like, I need like, like we need. To imagine, no, but like imagine, like like how fucking deep is a Star Wars story could get, where you have a promising young Jedi. Maybe Ezra Bridger gets hooked on fucking spice and it fucking took him out. That's the story I want to see. I want to see the nigga, the Jedi that had so much potential but just had a drug problem. Because that's, I mean, there's so many artists, there's so many talented he the, people. That, he got the Chris Rock scene, bro. To just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What are you doing, Ezra? You don't want no parts of this. It's spice. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> they, just find, they just find Ezra laying out. To... Ezra, what are you doing? Huh? Get out of here, man. Huh? <laughs> you don't want no parts you. of this shit. <laughs> the, the, the what are you doing? It's called spice. <laughs> I think I want to try some of the spice. 
That's like Dewey Cox, that that uh, walk yeah. hard. You <laughs> don't, don't want no part of this shit. Yeah. I think I want yeah. it. I think you made Tim Meadows too. It was Tim Meadows. Yeah, man. Shout out to him. That's one of my favorite scenes from that movie. Oh, I love um, it. He but, yeah. but now so now I'm wondering though, what do y'all think is gonna happen to Mando now? Like from what I saw, like what the trailer is, it's like there's a split between like the Mandalorians, like where he was seemed like it was kind of like a cult likes place, you know, like something that's kind of like still stuck in like the old ways. And now yeah. we're going to kind of get an opening of this new Testament of Mandalorians that are there. Cause even like in the trailer of um, those uh, three Mandalorians that we had saw that has uh, Sasha Banks in there. And she's also going to be returning. They had said that it was a, it was their cult that separated our people. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Remember they, they, because they, because remember when, when he met them, they were like, you know, like we we don't do all of that. We're like, yeah, we still like you don't gotta be that, and you know what I'm saying. So I think that's what it is. This is gonna be this is their civil war moment in regards with the with the Mandalorians. This is the the old way versus the new way. This is that you know I think that that's what they're gonna be. That's what's gonna be the main underlying of the story, the main storyline of the whole uh, series. Part. First something I would also like to address about you Star Wars folks. <laughs> Who in the hell makes a religion where you can't take your helmet off? Like, health-wise, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Like, well, it's, I mean, it's almost like the chastity belt of their head. You know what I'm saying? But it's like it's <laughs> chastity belt, you like you ain't gotta worry about passing out. Like, none of y'all have ever just looked at Darth Vader and like, I know this dude gonna fall out. Like he on his high, he on Tatooine. This shit. High. I don't know, know why they don't just have feeding tubes that go straight into the helmet. That's what I really don't understand. They've never figured that out. They, you never see just they like haven't a, evolved. <laughs> like just, they like, go in a bathtub tank and put a whole thing on their face in the water, but just a quick like quick bite, just have a little R two D two situation. And then what are he trying to get some spice? Get his spice on? Like is this like a vacuum part? Like does yeah. it just and then go? <laughs> <laughs> get it. I feel like that's. I feel like that that goes against Mandalor Mandalorian uh, law to be doing spice. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that, that, so I gotta ask y'all though, like, so just and like, no, this this is the way. This is. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Yo, they get their way separate us. This is the way. This is the way. Come this on over here way. and get some of this new shit. <laughs> but now, um, I but I would ask y'all, like, so say they had this religion out. And it involves space travel the whole nine. Would y'all dedicate yourselves to this and wear a helmet all the fucking time? I don't. Based off of everything you get as a Mandalorian. So the only reason why I'm still contemplating it is that if you good at what you do, you, you they cash out the Mandalorians. You be having like to have the shiny suit that like like. The Mandalorian suit alone, I mean, it, it, it's clean. You know what I'm it saying? Like, and, and the way the nigga, the way the nigga keeps like taking his bread and getting new little pieces, I'm right. like, yeah, I, I, I kind of fucks with that. I fucks with that. Turning your money. It's, just, and, it's like the first. It's like it's like live action RPG. It's like, oh, I can level really up. Is. <laughs> I, love it. He's, I love it. He's leveling up, bro. His uniform. I mean, his costume. Look, uh, excuse me. His suit looks different than it does. In, in the even now seasons, you know? Yeah. Um, and I think that helped grab you in a little bit more, too, to see that come up and everything like that and to see him take that stuff seriously. I think that was dope to see, too. So, but are y'all but are y'all doing it? I'm leaning towards it because that because because outside outside of being force sensitive, the Mandalorians, I'm like, I, I can see me rocking with that crew because I definitely wouldn't want to be a stormtrooper. I definitely wouldn't want to be anybody okay. in the dark side. So okay. like, I'm thinking about like which crews I would want to. So like, okay, so then so then let's ask it like that then. Let, let, let's get into it like that. So where in the Star Wars world, what would you join? Like I know you have uh, Stormtrooper, yeah, yeah. I know you have a Mandalorian, you also have being a space cowboy, is what I you know clarify like as a Han Solo and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. Uh you also have uh what was what was the races that they did on um Tatooine? Uh, they had the Tradotians. That's like the, the dinosaur looking dudes. No, 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 no. The ones that Anakin was driving. Oh, the Dubaks? Yeah. The reptile yeah, Dubaks or Ron Rontos are the, the ones that look like giraffes, and the yeah. Dubaks are the little <laughs> reptile ones. Yeah. But what would y'all Oh, the Bantha, the furry things. 
Yeah. yeah. Ones. Uh, pilot and then pilots. You got being a pilot. You could join the rebel force. Or you could be a politician. So I'm trying to think like, because, all right, and it, I guess it all depends on like, because if I'm not force sensitive, then yes, I want to be a Mando because I'm like, one, the Mando, the, the Mandalorian outside of their own people, when you go against it, they don't have many people going at them. A lot of people don't fuck with them because they know like, hey, these niggas get busy. We don't really mess with them. And they get cashed out on both sides. The dark side of hiring them, the, like they, they're just all about cash. They're just like, I'm just, I was like, y'all, y'all need a bounty hunter, y'all hire me. Right. So it's like it's just a regular old job. I ain't gotta worry about I ain't gotta worry about the dark side coming after nah, me. You know? But you have even worse to worry about, bro. You're not thinking. Like as a bounty hunter, you have to worry about other bounty hunters seeking the same bounty, dude. And that's fucking scary when you just think like you like think imagine the three of us are bounty hunters, right? We all yeah. leave. Bet, boom, boom, boom. I see y'all down the street. I'm like, I thought I was about to get this bounty. Like, sorry, Brody, nothing personal, my nigga. Bow. Yep. That's how don't... that works. We just, we having this great podcast right now. Right? <laughs> yeah, we had a laugh. I meet you downstairs. It's like, yo, your loyalty's to the money. It's a lonely life. You're yeah. right. Because then, because then it's that scene in like, uh, in John Wick or something like that. <laughs> and, like, and, and, and depending on what our morals is, it'd be like, all right, look. I found him. Brody, you capture him. Deuce, we're going to use your ship to get away. And we're going to split this shit. <laughs> Three ways. Three ways. But we all got guns out like this, though. Like, oh, yeah. It's, it's, the, it's this. It's this. Like, uh, it's, it's this. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking something from this bounty. All right. <laughs> so that's the plan. We cool. See, and that was that's, that's what so that's what you got to worry about, dudes. And then too, though, yeah. you can't exclude having force powers because though you may have them, who says that you have to join them? That is true. That is true. That's what I want to be. I would want to be a force powered that's... Mandalorian. Crazy. Oh, if I was a force powered man, man, that's now that's <laughs> that's different. That's different. Now, what was you gonna say though, Brody? Yeah, I just, oh man, I, I, it's so hard to wear out of place. I mean, I'm definitely not going to be a stormtrooper. That's just working, that's working your government job. You, you know what I mean? It's just in and out, day in, day out, and it's just terrible benefits. Like, that's <laughs> not it. And they give you they give you faulty guns. I'm not going to blame every stormtrooper for being a bad aim. I think the guns are bad. I think they're giving them bad, bad uh, <laughs> equipment. Um, oh, I, got, I guess I got to think about what planet. First of all, what planet would I want to live on, Ooh. you know? And then it's like, I don't want to live on Tatooine. I don't want to live on like no, no Hoth and no Dagobah. I'm thinking I want to live on like, uh, I like where, uh, I like Naboo, man. You know what I'm saying? I know. Yeah, that's, I think that's, Naboo's that's clean. Awesome. Naboo's like, like, like Dubai, you know, like it was just, yeah. just beautiful. There's like this, like, I know there's, I may, you know what? I might be, I know this sounds so terrible. I might be a Gungan. I might fuck around and be a Jar Jar Binks type of nigga because. I I, I could no, you know what? I wouldn't even tell. I wouldn't even give you Jar Jar Binks. I would give you higher than that, cause I mean, I but a Gungan, not Jar Jar, but like a, just a Gungan. Like the Gungans clearly have fun. I'm a yeah, they do. Dude. Yeah. He's he's playing like he like everyone says. Uh, Jar Jar is actually really a Sith Lord. I mean, that's watch that's stuff. what I was about to say. Like I would see his lore being yours, but him not. But you like you're not like him. Like oh oh oh. Like you nah. still got prestige and shit. But it's just like yeah, I'd be, and you can swim, them, and they, they go and they live. They have their whole world underwater. That's this out, you know, yeah. out, of, out of sight, out of mind. Yep, I see that. Yeah. So you would, you would be, you would be that. You would be a Mandalorian if, deuce. The, yeah. The one thing I would say though, if I if I was force sensitive and I was able to 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 give me a lightsaber, I'm going to whoever designs the dark side lightsaber because the Jedi's have trash lightsaber designs. It's just one. It's a sword. Or a dual sword. They got the same thing. Where the dark side, they be getting extremely creative. Like I want something new. <laughs> yeah, I can feel. Yeah, I do feel that. You don't ever <laughs> see no real upgrades in the force. Be like, yo, bro. Like, why y'all got these fucking 1993 lightsabers out here? Yeah. Like, man, like, yeah, yeah. Can I get, man, a, get can... a get trade that joint in, dog? Yeah, yeah. Bro, like, I, I, just leased, I just leased this double joint. Look at this, man. I just got this. this shit, look, they shit spinning. 
Right? I got, I got a button I got that to do that. They just hold it and it just. Like, yo, what, where, where our shit at? Like, oh, watch it. I can fly with my shit. Look, watch this. Watch right. this. Look at that. I just pulled up with my lightsaber, nigga. Right. This nigga shit radiating like it looked like a sword, man. Why yeah. I just got this? My shit look like a popsicle. Like, yo, can we? Can we I want different designs. Man, me, I would go with the only thing I think would be the best thing in Star Wars, the Ewoks. I would be a fucking Ewok out here in these streets. Right. Maybe man. partying. Ewoks they be they partying, be, bro. Ewok, yo, Ewoks be partying, man. Uh. That's why I was like, yo, fuck all this galaxy shit. Y'all can have that. I'm trying to be where the party at in them trees getting fucked up. Them they, Ewoks. They, they, yeah, they, yeah, they because they party, they dance, they be they be they and be they with the shits too. Yes, they are. I wish you would run up on an Ewok party or an Ewok clan and they boy, they coming at your ass. Oh yeah, it's, it's always gay, gay. It's always it's gay, gay, bro. That's why I'm like, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ewoks, up, yeah. Ewoks yeah, yeah. Yeah. all day, yo. I like yo, y'all come over here, come kicking with me, nigga. We partying. Yep, and low key, they be knowing everything. They like they 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 keep that everything. Everything. In the streets. They everything. know everything. These things be in the woods yeah. and it got the central hub on everything. Be mm-hmm. like, hey, bro, you 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 know Darth Maul's still alive, right? You know that. Yeah. You gotta keep that to yourself. And they and know. they resourceful. They they'll 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 re, they'll recycle some shit. Like, oh wait, what we got here? All right, what we gonna do? Hey, give me that. Give me that. They they turn the fucking uh uh Columbo. They just get the yep. bricks and stuff. Be like, look, look, look. Yeah. We had to piece it together for you, but we got a brick of spice. I'm gonna hit y'all <laughs> with that, but you gotta bring me my you gotta bring me my chips back. All right, Rick of Spice. Don't think we can't. We got a ship out here. You can't see it right now, but we got a ship back here. I don't want to come. You, you, bro, you know, I know you don't want to come after me like that. You are, dude. Well, come you know how we look like Ewok hunting down a Mandalorian. Come on, man. Don't make me be that person coming up to the bar. Hey, man, y'all seen a Mandalorian with dreads? <laughs> but you know what? They, they, it's funny that they still haven't brought an Ewok back into the lore. Like, they haven't shown that they haven't shown any Ewoks, have they? Ewoks, they try to be in this no more. Ewok, they was mm-hmm. like, Look, we had our, we had our time, we shined yep. in the 80s. We but, like, where Ewoks. are the Ewoks? Like, they really didn't even, they, like, in the in the sequel trilogy, we didn't see one Ewok. They had their own planet, I believe. I think the last time they were, they were moved because, like, where they were, they were becoming, they were going to become endangered. And I think Luke and and uh, Leia had them move to a different planet, and that was right wow. after um, who was I think it was in, when Vader died. That was the last time we saw the Ewoks when they uh, did the ceremony to burn them. I don't I don't know if it was him that they no. burned or somebody. Who was it that they burned? In no, the they movie? burned Darth Vader. They burned Darth Vader on uh, on Endor on the moon. Yeah. And the but, whole thing was that they had in the special edition. They showed a party all over the world. Everyone's having yeah. a party. The Ewoks were partying to celebrate the Death Star two being destroyed. Yeah. But I think they have their own planet. There was an Ewok that appeared in Rise of Skywalker at the end. Was there? Yeah, that's what they're saying. I'm trying oh. to watch the picture. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I do remember that. When they were celebrating on their planets and that one? Yeah, I, th- I do believe so. Yeah, man, the Ewok's still out here. We, You know, we just kick it, parlaying. No, 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 why would you fuck with Ewok? Hey, Ewoks definitely sound like they'll have a thick... Cali accent. <laughs> like, what's happening with y'all, man? man well, well, we to the watch, you know. We out here. We out here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Come on, chill. Sit down. We got bad damners. Wait, you want to I didn't know there was, a, there was a cartoon called the Ewok. Yes, bro. I got yeah, a bro. VHS with three episodes. Yeah, of the I used to watch that and Droids. They used to have, yep. R2, they used to have Droids and then Ewok show. Yep, R two D two and uh, C three PO go on their own adventures. Oh, I did and there's two Ewok that. movies. There's two Ewok yep. movies. Yep, I was oh, a I huge just, Ewok fan. I don't know why. I like, for some reason, the Ewok. <laughs> the Ewok, the Ewoks had me, bro. They were like it was die. like they were like the Smurfs of yeah. the Star Wars, and it was just <laughs> like, yo, these dudes is fire. Damn, I didn't yeah. even know like they, they had like notable Ewok names. Like I'm I'm mm-hmm. learning more about Ewok. Yeah, yeah. About the w- Wicked's Ewok. Wicked's the main dude. Wicked. Yep. Yeah, that's the one. But uh, I didn't like I didn't know all the other ones was like there's so many. <laughs> yes. if, if they put it in Star Wars, they they got a name. Like it like there's there's literally fans that name all the stormtroopers. True. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yo, I would love I still want to do my um I wanted to do a show that was like The Office, but it was Star Wars and it was Stormtroopers. 
That, that's what I, that's funny. Yeah, that so it's just, so like you just hear the emperor and he'd be like, execute order six six, and then somebody can just fucking with him and it's just like, uh, emperor, uh, we we uh did a little bit of reconnaissance and we think it'll be better to uh execute order uh 69. <laughs> order 68, order 60, 67 is up, order 68 9 is up. <laughs> he like, well, execute order 69. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> not the sir, not the sir. Execute <laughs> order sixty nine. That's hilarious. I would oh, love man. to see some stuff like that. Like you see, you got a whole floor of stormtroopers that's like HR, and you gotta watch them get. You recorded. got to. You got to. Also, like I would actually know. prefer it though. I would honestly just lend it to like Robot Chicken or or to do it just a spinoff show of just stormtroopers. You know? Yeah. Because I almost wouldn't. Want Star Wars to be like them making fun of themselves? So they, they, you know, with Disney, they'd be soft. They wouldn't take I it. See, there. I see what you're saying. Or we yeah. wouldn't yeah. take it there. Yeah, Robot like Chicken they, would be dope though to see. Robot like, Chicken would take it there. It. Yeah, they would definitely yeah. take it there. Like just yeah. not, not, not necessarily like it's, it's stop motion, but like if if the Robot Chicken franchise did a Stormtrooper in the off the show. No, I can even see the stop motion though. Like I think that would be even cool. Well, I always said I don't know why somebody doesn't do it. Like I feel like somebody should take. Like especially if you got a big property, but just do like a henchman story where it's random henchmen from different like properties, but it's like it's the it's the bar like we talked about. Oh yeah, yeah. Ah, like you have the yeah. you have the foot soldiers complaining about it, and then you hear see some stormtroopers like y'all think y'all got it bad? Y'all yeah. y'all just fighting turtles? Like we gotta fight this? Like you know what I'm saying? And then you see the putties come in like wait no nah, what y'all talk like, I'm gonna, like right? right. But like I used to be human. I didn't. I was not born putty, bro. I got transformed into this. Oh, that's, right. So oh, like that's, that's a whole bunch hilarious. of. A whole bunch of just uh, henchmen talking about the, like, yeah. I wish I, like, I wish I work. I wish I work for the Joker squad <laughs> for Joker. No, like, no, you know? the fuck you don't. <laughs> right. Imagine just sitting there, you get shot <laughs> with laughing gas. You ain't dead. You just laughing. It ain't shit I, funny. I gotta permanently smile because he put me some gas on me. That I gotta look like this forever. <laughs> Man, told us we can't even stare at him. <laughs> Harley Quinn just be groping our balls for no reason. If you flinch, she can hit you with that big ass hammer in your kneecap. <laughs> said, said my nigga David, his knee ain't been the same since. <laughs> she said it's a psychiatric test. I don't even get what the fucking psychiatric is about it. <laughs> said, I, said, I, said I can't even go to therapy because she's a therapist. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, I went up there and she was like, "Hold on, I'm in session. It's just her there." <laughs> it's just her. This bitch is in a session uh, with herself. Who who is the worst? Like who has it worse out of henchmen? Uh, I'd say the Goombas in Super Mario Brothers. They got they got it. <laughs> the Goombas. You just Mario happen. jumps on them. They're dead. They don't have arms. They, don't yeah, they really defense. don't have a fighting chance whatsoever. No. <laughs> they really have to chase you with their face, you know what I'm saying? And hopefully bite you. Like yeah. they had to put spikes on to protect themselves. Some of them were Yeah, 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 they had a helmet. You got to have the spike helmet. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> hey, they, they do got it back. I'm trying to think who who had who who has it worse. Cuz being a stormtrooper sucks. Like fought like first of all like I was like what it what are the qualifications of being a solar trooper? Like, what is this? Are they all still I don't clones? Think, like, were well, they drafting that, I, people? I feel like, like the first few of them, they were kidnapped and then forced to be stormtroopers, and then they made clones. So it's like, yeah, I feel like stormtroopers has it bad because, like, yeah, like you literally just dedicated to that stormtroopers. But like, I feel like as a foot soldier. Like you just want to be a ninja. You train to be a ninja. Oh, my master is a master ninja. And in the first fight in the in the world you go in, you see these seven foot turtles that also answer to a seven foot rat. You like, wait, whoa, whoa. Hold on. First of all, no, I don't feel bad about them because that's one of them things where I'm sorry, y'all should have guns. I don't know why you feel like you bad enough to fight a seven foot turtle. They didn't get. They didn't give a dude. Like, that's that's you, what I'm saying. You, you, you just are a Foot be... Clan soldier. Rob a pawn shop. You are a bad saying. person. 
when do they spring it on them that they're fighting turtles? Because like first, you look first, at their training, their training and everything is just ninja training. So dojos, like, oh, just regular right. dojos. And, like, and and like and Shredder is a known master ninja, even though he's evil. You're like, I mean, he evil, but like, hey, this top tier nigga ninja, bro. Like, I'm learning from the best. And then yeah. when do they say, oh, but also but, you're not fighting other ninjas, you fighting a turtle. But I and but I talk. also but I also know. <laughs> I'm not that type of ninja like him. Like he top tier. I ain't. Okay. Yeah, I, can barely, I can barely fit my foot clan <laughs> outfit. All right. Y'all sitting over here all dressed and ready to go, and my ass crack is out. And I'm worried about that shit now. So I'm not the best at this. So I see a seven foot turtle coming at me, and they're gonna be like, yo, what happened to the turtles? Well, this dude that can't fit in his foot clan suit. Uh, shot these niggas in the head, and then that was it. You're like, you're fucking right. They in the back. They in the back of this Tahoe. You want to make some turtle soup? See what's really cracking. <laughs> but I'm we can all like, have power tonight. Like, if if you treat it like a job and you think about it, it's like at which what week do they tell you is turtles? Because like you got to do. Oh, so you want to be a foot soldier? Let's learn all about the ninja way. Let's get you at what week do they say? All right, you know, like you know, I don't know if y'all ever wear call centers, but at call centers, at some point, they give you live action calls. It's like you do all these tests in there, and then you after like week four, you're doing live action calls with real customers. So but like, they be recruiting, that week? <laughs> but they be recruiting though. So it's not like New York don't know this be happening. Like nine out of ten, y'all didn't walk across this fight <laughs> happening. And it's like know, New York be acting like they don't, they don't, t- they can't tell Raphael in that fucking that's, trench coat and that that's hat. Cool. That's <laughs> New York is shell shot. New York <laughs> got attacked by everything. All right, Godzilla. But it is a lot there. to digest, bro. Like you're like, oh yeah, yeah. You're gonna have to, not, you're gonna have to fight these uh, these teenagers. Teenagers? Why, why not fight teenagers? Because they're mutant. Okay, that's nothing against them. That's just the environment. But they're ninjas. <laughs> well, I guess yeah, I am a ninja. But they are turtles. Be like, okay, hold the fuck up. Like, hold, 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 hold. I'm fighting some teenagers that happened had a mutant freak accident that know how to fight, but they're turtles. Like my training, <laughs> I, all my training, and you got me fighting turtles. And That's you know a lot. what? And you know what? Larry tried to tell us about that shit last week. And every and we would we didn't believe that nigga when he said he saw a seven foot turtle on the top of the building <laughs> eating some damn pepperoni pizza. And then just hopped on the skateboard and jetted off. And we just thought he was high. And we didn't yeah. believe him. And they really you know, had to. Always he, that got, he got fired for telling the story. We thought he was, we thought something was wrong with him. They killed him. Y'all ain't even hear about it. They dropped him off the docks. <laughs> they ain't even let him go home. They're like, you have shamed everybody. I don't know, man. There's a, there's, there's, there's a lot of henchmen who got it bad out here. <laughs> There is a lot of history who got it bad, man. We're going to have to make that for another episode, though, man. We're going to go ahead and try to wrap this thing up, man. So just, um, I'll, you know, jumping back to uh, Star Wars with everything that announcing and, and coming out, like, I would like to know, you know, what is the one thing that you are really excited for uh, out of the announcements that you've heard? I touched on it, um, but, like, I'm all the way in on Mandalorian and and learning more about the home planet, learning more about when they got like when that everything got destroyed and even so seeing those little bits and pieces of it in the trailer, I'm like, yo, I'm I want to know more about this. I want to know why they have these stances, these laws. I want to see that that beep of unfold of somebody saying, no, there's a newer way that we can do it. Let's do it this way. Like I I'm all for that and hopefully, like I said, they they dive a little bit deeper into Grogu. Uh, during this uh, process as well, so we can learn more about the that race of people. Uh, Brody, what about you? Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm with I'm with Deuces on the same. I mean, like I'm, I'm very excited for Ahsoka, but I think the Mandalorian is something that it's like I'm already sad for the series finale of the Mandalorian, and I and season three hasn't even come on yet. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. Have you have y'all have y'all yeah. have y'all have y'all taken some time for yourself to think about like the Mandalorian? Is gonna have to end at some point. I, I yeah. scare myself because I'm like, are y'all gonna get? Are y'all gonna treat this like a a five seasoner and just go out epic, or are you gonna shoot it for a run? Like, are we gonna get eight? Are y'all gonna hit us with ten? Like, I think the best way, the best kiss to to, to it the, 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 is you do you three four seasons, 
and then a movie. Yeah. I, I concur with that. Do you go out with a it. movie, bro. Peaky Blinder style. I like it. Mm-hmm. Could do so. Do you think the timeline ever catches up? Um, I don't. I t- 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 to be honest though, I feel like it's not necessary. Like I kind of feel like Star Wars has a great uh, open window to not particularly pinpoint where the stoppage is on a lot of these shows. Yes. Yeah. Like Mandalorian, like you can get a wide lore of it, but you don't need the exact time of when this is happening. Like, well, I you have that- thirty years though. You have thirty years of leeway before like the events of Force Awakens. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, so we are, but again, when we already know that that's what that says, so it's like there's no reason for us to be like, oh, this is the X Y Z time when this stopped and this is how this occurred. It's like. Y'all can give us that with like the elements that we see. Like we know, okay, yeah. oh, like we hear the thing about oh, the blueprint of the Death Star is getting made for like another one or something like that. Yeah. Like to see those things, it's like, okay, we kind of know where we're coming up with. I just hope they don't like I don't think they need to pinpoint it. And I agree. I was just asking if they're throwing it out there for conversation purposes. But yeah, I because I I like the fact that like, yeah, I don't have to because when it, when you know that it's leading up to a specific point, then like like it, then, it, then I really gonna feel like Brody, like ah, dang it, man! I know where we're at, and I can, I'm already gauging the time of the end of this, of this property of Mandalorian, like because yeah, I think the biggest thing they're trying to, uh, one thing they're gonna try to, I mean, it's delicate because they could clean it up or fuck it up more. The the, the the shit they put themselves in with Rise of Skywalker and the whole cloning thing. Yeah. I mean, I think they're gonna, there, there might be some. There's one theory that, like, I guess, like, you know, maybe they were trying to bring back Sith or Jedi Masters, Sith Lords, Jedi Masters, you know, so in the same experiment, they, they're bringing back Palpatine, but they also brought back Yoda. You know what I'm saying? So, so the baby, yeah. so the Grogu we, we know is actually just a clone Yoda, and then the Palpatine we see of uh, Rise of Skywalker is, is the full execution, you know, but you know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. That would be dope. That so would they could have been in the same experiment together. Dang, that would, that would be fire. That would be fun, man. That's the Thanks only, that's the only way. Yeah, that that's the only way that I think the Mandalorian can. Well, the, the, they, they can clean up Rise of Skywalker a lot if they show us the experiments and show us what yeah. went into making. Because they put themselves in a hole by just saying, "Oh yeah, we cloned him." By the way, oh by the way, Snoke's dead, and uh, we cloned. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about Snoke anymore. We're just erase him. Which I still, you still, I already, y'all already know my theory. Well, I don't know if y'all know my theory, but I think Deuce did. My theory on Snoke was uh, that that was actually The Apprentice uh, from the video games. Mm. I kept thinking that was Star Killer. You remember mm-hmm. that video game uh, yeah. uh, on PS2? The Tech Masters of Tezcashi? No, 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 no. It was, it was, no, it was uh, Star Wars The Apprentice. Okay. Yeah, no, that was a dope ass video game. I wish they would have had that kind of as some kind of canon in the uh movies or the series and stuff like that. But you know, they gotta live within the game. Um, but I think it's a three for three. Um, I'm the same way. I'm excited about uh Mandalorian. Um the same thing with uh 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 Ahsoka, but um uh, I'm also too uh kind of interested in the skeleton crew and just to see like and I think too that's just based off of really what Brody said, like adding that element of some kind of dope. Uh, lure into it mixed with this, I think it'll be for a dope ride, especially like with Jude Law. So I think that'll be cool. But we want to know what y'all think. We want to know what did you take away from D23's uh, Star Wars, excuse me, Lucasfilm announcements? And what was your big biggest takeaway? Even if it wasn't Star Wars, was it Willow or was it the, you know, the news of Indiana Jones? We want to know that, but we do want to know what was your favorite Star Wars takeaway from this presentation? Deuce. I want to add. I want to add also, who what who would y'all be in the Star Wars universe? Like what crew? That that question that we had. Where would you start? Would you be a Jedi? Would you be, uh, you know, a Mandalorian? I want to. I want to see what yeah. they say as that as well. Or Ewok. Where would you yeah. be at? Yeah. 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 Ewok gang. Yeah. Or a Gungan. Or a Gungan. Yeah. yeah. Like Misa. <laughs> yes. Who would, you, <laughs> who would you be in the Star Wars universe? Yeah. Let us know in the comments below. Before we get out of here, though, I always like to make sure that my guests get to let y'all know where to go support them. We'll start with Deuce, go with Brody, and we'll wrap this thing up. 
All right. So I, as always, man, y'all can follow me at young underscore deuces. And also, again, we're still rocking out with the Black Geek documentary that we're working on. Uh, so, you know, say like go to the Black Geek documentary dot com to see all the information. I think the next convention that we're hitting is Anime Week in Atlanta. So if you are in Atlanta, and you're going to be going there. Look out for us, man. Get on the documentary. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Brody. Yes, indeed. Uh, you guys can find me at Brody the Joker on all social media platforms. B R O A D Y the Joker, like it says on the screen. And uh, if you're in the Arlington, uh, Virginia area, October second, I'll be performing headlining at the Arlington Draft House. So come out for some laughs. I'd love to see you guys. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure that you like this video, comment in the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. So when a new episode drops, you are the first one there to go see it. And, you know, we might premiere this and be hopping in the uh, chat as well. So you never know. But we appreciate you checking out Shroud of a Comic Book. I've been your host, Will Farrow, and we will catch you next time.